Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the reduce operator. Firstly, we understood what reduce operator is, then we took a requirement. Firstly, I showed you, yes, how we are achieving the requirement by applying the loop and then we simply, simply understood how we can replace loop with reduce and how we achieved the same to same result. And we took the requirement of count. You all know now, whenever you have these kinds of requirement, count, total, subtotal, if you are going for loop rather than loop, always, always prefer the reduce, I'll say reduce operation. Now what we will do? Now we will go for further one more requirement so that we all can understand it better. Now, what is the requirement? Now, customer bought the sum of sales order based upon sales document category. Suppose if I will go for SC11 transaction code. This is our VBAK table. Now you can see in this table, we have a column NEDWR. And ETWR is your net value of the sales order. Means what is the value or what is the amount of the sales order. What we will do, we will make some of the sales order based upon this particular sales document category. Suppose simple example. User will give that date range. Input is same to same. This is our input. Suppose user is giving that document category A because we are going for a perception that we have only three document categories A, B or C. Now what customer is saying, if I am giving the input as a date range, I bought the total amount of sales order, total of sales orders for inquiry. I bought the total of sales orders for quotation. I bought the total of sales order for this particular document category C. Miss customer bought the amount of sales order, sum of amount of sales order based upon these document category. Now suppose if I will simply go for the columns, settings, formal list, choose fields. I will deselect VBELN. VB type and we will take a column NETWR. This is our net value. Now, if I will go for apply and I will execute. So we have total 16 records if I will make some. So this is what we will get if we are passing that date range, whatever that date range we put. And in the, for the document category A, this is the total. This is the total. And similarly for document category B, this is the total. And for document category C, this is the total. So firstly, I will show you how we are achieving the result for document category C. We have so many records. So I will increase. I will execute. And now I will make some. So we have 687 entries. And this is the total. If I will go for the total at the last. I just apply some. This is the total. So previously, if we don't reduce operator, what you are doing. You will fetch the amount from the database table. And yes, after that, it is totally your wish. You want to make some based upon the if condition and you all know you have collect statement also, which is making some of amount, which is making some of numeric field values based upon unique character field values. You can apply collect also. You can go for control break statements also. But just say if you are going for simple loop also, if you are going for collect also, if you are going for control break statement also, 
ultimately each and everything must be in the loop if rather than these if if i will go for collect anyways i need to apply loop if i am going for control break statements anyways i need to apply loop so rather than going for loop we should always always prefer reduce so firstly i will show you if i don't know or we don't know reduce how we are making the sum previously so what i will do i will create a new program i will not touch this existing program now suppose i will say reduce underscore two this is the second program for reduce demo on reduce operator We will go for type as executable program and I will go for save. We'll save it as a local object. And whatever is same to same, I will copy paste. Now, firstly, I will go for input. Our input is same to same. I will activate. Go to text elements and I will provide the selection text. I will choose DDIC reference. I will activate. And this is coming from data element. Now from VBAK table, we will take only two columns, document category and amount because we want to make some of amount based upon document category. So you will only will create a structure. So structure has only two columns. One is document category and another is your amount. And ET WR type. You can simply simply copy the data element from VBAK table. And ET WR. This is the data element. In your system, it might be NETWR underscore AP. So whatever is there, you can use that. So we created the structure. Now we will go for internal table work area. Whatever is available, I will simply copy paste rather than declaring again and again. This is our program. So our internal table is ready. Our work area is ready. Now we will simply write the open SQL query. This is our open SQL query. Oh, this is not. This is the. This is our open SQL query. Sorry. Now, rather than VBELN, we are going for VB type and NETWR. So, in this internal table, you have that data. Now, if you want to make some, you have to apply a loop onto this internal table. Compulsory, compulsory. It is totally your wish how you are making the sum, you are using the collect statement, you are using the control break statements or you are simply simply taking variables and making the sum. It is totally your wish how we are making the sum. But ultimately, without a loop, we cannot do anything if we don't know the reduce operator. So suppose if I will copy this loop. This is our loop. Suppose we will go for simple. If statements only. So if document category is A, suppose I will say LV underscore NETWR1. LV underscore NETWR2. You can use collect also, no problem. 
because this is your character data type and this is your numeric data type. You can use you can use control break statements also, totally your wish. Or you can write simply also. And ETWR2. This is our NETWR3. This is our NETWR3. Now we will simply declare these three variables. Now rather than integer, we need to declare it as, suppose this is NETWR1, NETWR2, NETWR3. And here we will pass the data element. This is our data element for the amount. 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 We'll check the syntax. It is syntactically correct. Now we will go for right statement. We'll simply copy right. We'll create this text symbols. This is your LV underscore NET WR1. LV underscore NET WR2. LV underscore NET WR3. Now we will go for these text symbols. Go to text elements. Yes, we want to save. And we will go for 000, zero, zero we'll copy paste. Because anyways, few text are changing. Go to text elements. We'll copy paste. Control Y. You all know control Y is Yang, control C, control V. The sum of amount for document category A. Because here we are not going for count. The sum of amount for document category B. The sum of amount for document category C. Sorry. We will activate. So program is also active. Now we will see, are we getting a expected output or not based upon that tape? I will run this. I will go for date. I will go for exit. Okay, I think we have. Sorry. We have done a mistake here. We have done a biggest mistake here while writing the code. Here we have not changed anything. Any, we are just going for counter. Uh, we need to write LV underscore NETWR1 plus. Here we need to pass the work area NETWR because our amount is coming into this particular work area NETWR. We are not going for count. I forgot to change the logic here. We are not going for counter or something. We are going for sum of amount based upon sales order. So in which particular column the amount is coming and it is WR. So we took that and we are adding with this particular variable which we took. So you can understand in such a way also, suppose we are getting sales document category A, suppose amount 100. So 0 plus 100, it will go for 100. So this is 100. Suppose next row is 200. 100 plus 200, 300. This is how it will make the sum. 
So I forgot to change the counter logic. Now I changed. I will run. I will go for input. Now this is. Now we will verify with that table. Is it fine or not? This is our VBAK table. We'll see. In between this date range. Okay. Suppose we will go for A. We'll see. Do we have three things? We'll take VB ELN or we will take VB type and NEDWR. This is our amount. We'll take this. I will go for execute. Okay, if I will go for calculation of sum, it is 4782500. Do we have same to same in the program? Yes, it is same to same. We'll go for document category B now. We will execute 6746932. It's perfectly fine. Now we will go for C. First, I will increase the record because for C, we have so many records. If I will go to the last, 2416914542416914544. 2416914544. So, we got the expected output. So, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, again, we took a requirement which will be achieved if we don't know the reduce operator and then we will achieve if we know the reduce operator. So what is our requirement? Customer bought the sum of sales or sum of amount of sales order based upon document category. Means whatever the date range customer will put in between that date range, customer bought the sum for sales document category A for document category B and document category C. So we took the input as date range. We fetched the data from the table. Now it is totally your wish how you want to go for sum. You can apply collect statement, you can apply control break, or you can simply took the variable also and you can pass that total to the variable. It is totally your wish because ultimately that is or not our target. Our target is yes, in any of these, if we don't know reduce, we have to compulsory go for loop. If we are going for variable concept, we have to go for loop. If we are going for collect, we have to go for loop. If we are going for control break statement, we have to go for loop, but, but ultimately it is loop only. Then we simply put a loop. By mistake, I forgot to change the counter logic. Rather than plus one, we need to go for the work area amount in which work, where work area the amount is coming. We displayed the total. We verified and it is working fine. In the next video, we will see how I can replace this logic with the reduce. And you can see previously we use reduce as a replacement of as a replacement of loop and we did the count. Now we are going for total or you can say it is subtotal. Based upon document category A, subtotal. Based upon document category B, subtotal. Based upon document category C, subtotal. Now same to same we will achieve through now reduce in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.